there was something really cool I wanted to make a video on this week, but long story short, some Game Maker updates were delayed, I couldn't do it, and I once again have found myself with a hole in my upload schedule. Fortunately, there's always the subject of Scribble, the famous text renderer of Game Maker, the eighth wonder of the world. And I always do enjoy discussing Scribble, so let's talk about how it handles SDF fonts. So Game Maker itself added built-in support for SDF fonts about a year ago. I made a video on those when they first came out, and by the way, SDF stands for Signed Distance Field, so SDF font is not a redundant acronym. Scribble actually had support for something called MSDF fonts, Multi-Signed Distance Field, which is very similar, uh, before Game Maker did. And at one point in the past, I wanted to make a video on those, but then Game Maker added their own, and Juju said that he would rather just drop MSDF support and fold Game Maker's version into Scribble. So that's what we're going to go with today. So support for Game Maker's built-in SDF fonts are a relatively recent addition to Scribble. You're going to be needing to use Scribble 9 for this, which, as of my recording, this is currently currently like a beta version of Scribble. There may be a above average number of bugs in 9.0.0 beta. But as time goes on, uh, those will be ironed out. So if you've never used Scribble before, then I'm not entirely sure if this is the introductory video that you want for it. Uh, but either way, you're going to want to go to the GitHub repository that I'm going to be linking in the description of the video. Uh, look for Scribble 9 point whatever or later, and that will be the version of Scribble which supports uh, Game Maker SDF fonts. Go uh, click on the, uh, the YYMPS to download. Uh, you, once you've done that, you can return to Game Maker and you can go and drag that YYMPS into Game Maker, and you can watch the project tool do its thing. Uh, let's add all, add all scribble assets. And that there is, um, is scribble nine. So, uh, this project that I'm going to be using is basically going to be the, um, the test project that I used for previous scribble videos. All right, so we've got our little our little 2D game scene. Not much is happening here. I'm just using it to like draw text in a text box at the bottom. That's um, that's not too terribly exciting. Uh, let me actually uh, rearrange this a little bit so that we have a little bit more space. How about uh, one? We can get rid of all of that junk that I'm not going to need in this video. And two, um. Going to make that text box a little bit bigger. Uh, this is going to make it a little bit easier to see things. So, if you already know how SDF fonts work, you probably have a pretty good idea of what's coming. Uh, the way that Scribble is going to handle this is just a little bit different from the way the Game Maker might handle it. The basic principles are the same. So, for example, if you were to try to do something like, um, like SDF is good at a couple specific things, right? And they mostly pertain to anti-aliasing in some way or another. Um, if you were to try to scale up the um, the text that you're drawing with Scribble, either with the scale uh, inline tag or with one of the, the scale functions of, um, of Scribble. Uh, that doesn't look great. I'm actually going to... Uh, expand that a little bit more. Uh, when you just blow up a bitmap font, it's not going to be anti-aliased. It's going to have rather fuzzy... Um, perhaps jagged edges, depending on your texture interpolation settings. It doesn't look great. If you were to, um, if you were to go into the Game Maker font properties and check the Enable SDF uh, checkbox, that is going to be, that will enable SDF effects on the font in Game Maker. And starting in Scribble 9, uh, if you simply use a, um, use a Game Maker font which has SDF enabled on it, then, um, Scribble will automatically know what to do with it. And that's, Really a uh, pretty convenient integration between Scribble and Game Maker that you just don't have to worry about this anymore. Um, the usual, the usual like, notes and, and warnings about SDF fonts still apply. Uh, it generally looks better if you have a large, a larger than necessary font. Uh, enable SDF and scale it down than if you have the, like, a small font and enable SDF on it and scale it up. Um, that has to do with the uh, like the amount of amount of data that the renderer has to work with to anti-alias the edges. When it uh, when it calculates the SDF effects, so you can use um like if nothing else, you can use um, SDF fonts in Game Maker and Scribble like just to make text scaling like this better, right? So that looks pretty nice. 
So the way that uh, Game Maker itself handles SDF effects like um, like text outlines and drop shadows and whatnot, I admittedly am not the hugest fan of. Um, you use the uh, the font enable effects function, and you uh, you pass it a struct full of um, basically just like data values uh, pertaining to SDF effects, and that's um. Like, that works, right? But I, I think it's kind of a pain to remember what you actually have to type into that function. Uh, Scribble, I think, makes this a little bit easier. So instead of saying, um, like, fonts enable effects or whatever it was, we can say uh, we have our Scribble object and we can say dot SDF underscore. Um, nice try, Feather, but that's not what I'm looking for. SDF underscore, uh, let's start with border. And the SDF underscore border function will take two arguments. One is going to be the color. Uh, what color do I want to make this? Let's make that a, a green border and a, uh, an outline thickness. Let's make that two pixels. Uh, you can make that big or as big or as small as you want. And that will, oof, okay. So green outline on black text is not my favorite thing. Uh, let's, let's have the text, um, let's draw the, the text as white so that we have a green outline on white text, which is a little bit easier to read. So we can, we can have built-in um, built font outlines with this, which is uh, pretty nice. Uh, that is one of the things that SDF will do for you. Uh, we can also say .sdf underscore shadow, and this will apply a, um, like create a drop shadow behind your, uh, behind your text. Uh, we can specify a couple different properties of the shadow with this function. We can say the, uh, the color, I'll make that C underscore black. I believe next is the alpha of the shadow. I'm going to make that one. Uh, you can have the shadow be less, more or less intense by messing with the alpha value. This is a value between zero and one, as alpha often is. Uh, next is going to be the offset. So if you want the drop shadow to be offset from the actual letters by some amount, you can um, you can control that with the, the X and the Y offset values. And next is going to be the, um, the strength of the shadow. And this is a value that you're probably going to want to mess around with yourself and see what value makes sense to you. Um, I am going to go with a, um, a, a value of 10 here. Um, this will create a fairly soft drop shadow behind the letters. Uh, you could make that a lower value if you want the shadow to be harder. Okay, that's um, actually a little bit harder than I, a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, if you want to drop this down to, for example, I don't know if you'll actually even be able to see if I, if I set it to one. So let's uh, add a little bit of horizontal offset. Maybe a uh, little bit of horizontal and a little bit of vertical offset um, to the shadow so that we can actually see what it's going to be. Uh, that is going to um, that is going to create a much uh, much harder, much more concentrated drop shadow. Um, how else can I mess around with this? Let's say if I make the if I make the alpha like half and I make the uh, strength or the softness or whatever I called it earlier like 16, uh, that should really blow out the uh, the radius of the shadow quite a bit. All right. Mm. My testing, I feel like this created a, a softer effect than this, but um, the point um, the point still stands. Now, there's really not that much more to this. Uh, there are other font effects that you can do with sign distance fields, which uh, have not, as of this moment, been implemented in Scribble. I don't know if Juju's going to. If you request a specific effect, like a um, I don't know, like an inner glow or something like that on text with uh, with SDS and Scribble. Like, make your case for it, Juju might add it. Um, this works with pretty much all of the usual Scribble effects. Um, you see uh, like inline text effects like text color and whatnot working here. If you want to like, uh, my favorite, like rainbow um, shaking text. Um, this will still work with, uh, with SDF fonts. All right, that looks great, doesn't it? So all of your usual scribble effects work. Um, if you want a uh, like typewriter text, um, let's initialize our uh, our typewriter text like this. Uh, if you want typewriter text with uh, with SDF fonts, it'll work. Um, we can use this to have the. Um, have the letters fade in, have the letters scroll in like this. That's uh, that's all kinds of fun. And like I said, there's really not that much more to it. Um, if you want to use SDF fonts in your game, 
uh, and you want to use Scribble in your game at the same time, you can do that. Uh, if you are using an older version of Scribble, uh, like I said, there is support in older versions for something called multi-sign distance fields, which I probably am not going to cover because you're just, like, not interested in, like, maintaining that in the modern day. But uh, there should be documentation for that somewhere if you, if you want to use that and you um, can't update to a newer version of Scribble. And I think that is going to do it for me. Uh, my name is Michael. I like Wizards and Dragons and making games. If you want the code for this, look for the project, um, both the, the, the sample project and the GitHub repository for Scribble down in the description of the video. I like to post videos on the weird stuff you can do in Game Maker, so if any weird shader things or 3D things appeal to you, feel free to subscribe. I have a Patreon, so if you want to contribute to the channel, links to that can be found in all the usual places. You should all go check out the Steam page for Wizard Arts, which is the game that I like to work on when I'm not doing YouTube stuff. I hope you all enjoy that, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Zenjamin, Theatro V, Square Crow, Manta Ray, Game Maker, Edward Holt, DJ Gibbles, and Black Alien for supporting these videos. If you want to contribute to the channel, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.